Cleanup and recovery continuing this morning after confirmed tornadoes across South Carolina killed nine people in our state, including one person in Seneca after the storms damaged the Borg Warner Automotive plant. Two others died in Orangeburg County. Two others were hurt there. We also know at least one person was killed in Colleton County after a tree fell on a family home. Five people were also killed in Hampton County. Three of them were family members. The sister of one of those killed says she found her sister's jewelry, pictures, and wedding ring. Angie Ginn says that she also lost her brother-in-law and niece. Ginn's husband described what he did as he heard the storm while riding it out with his wife and grandson. I couldn't open the back door and that's why I went to the for my wife and my grandson to get in the closet because you could hear stuff hitting the trailer. I am very lucky, very, very lucky. I would have lost, took mine to save one of theirs if I could have. People are now trying to salvage what they can as they sift through that debris, trying to find the things that they lost. Hampton County officials say they're working to help get those people what they need to recover. The cleanup also continues this morning in Berkeley County. Electrical workers spent Monday fixing power lines with thousands left in the dark, especially in this part of Monk's Corner, Cedar Island to be exact. Some homes were destroyed by the winds and large trees that fell on them. People living there tell News 2 they were shocked at the intensity of the winds. They also say cleanup will take weeks, if not longer.